I need to find the bachelor and warn him about the danger he's in. Wait, oh, those are other tasks. When did I get these? No, I was thinking about this one. We're not quite done. We have to, yeah, yeah. We have to return back to Aglaya. But I didn't know, I guess. Aglaya asked me to find Borak and warn him that he's in danger. I'll be able to find him. Here, let's look at our letters first. Find out. Oh, shit. Okay. Where's the bachelor? Where's the prospect? Yeah, actually, I need to talk to them because because of the uh, blah, 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 little sister quest. We kind of left her. We left her there at the uh, fighting circle. Yeah, yeah, she's in that house right there on the uh, on the first floor. Okay, the bachelor's whereabouts. I know you're on your way to becoming a mistress of the earth, and that's good. I am so well acquainted with you. Since we have a lot to discuss when the time comes for both of us to govern this town, to lay the basis for our future negotiations, I'd like to ask a favor that a mistress may ask of another mistress. So she's... It's kind of, I'm, I'm a little bit confused about Aglaya being a mistress. That has never come up in the other playthroughs. So every time I've talked to Aglaya, she, she's mentioned mistresses before, but mostly disparaging comments towards uh, Maria. So I'm kind of unsure why she's inserting herself in there. Maybe that's where like the turbulence is between them emotionally is that Aglaya feels that she is better suited to be mistress, but for whatever reason, Aglaya is working for the powers that be rather than, you know, for the family in this town as a mistress. I'm unsure. I'm hoping to find out more about that. The bachelor, the man whom I've chosen, fell victim to another man's hatred. I wonder if Aglaya has adherence then. What would her adherence list look like? I mean, the only adherents are the ones that each uh, each of our main characters have. But we also know that Isidore had adherents too, but he passed those adherents down to Artemy. This other man is someone we both despise. Burak, the Horospex. I don't despise Burak. <laughs> I love him. Who is going to become a warden and a new foreman soon. With his cohort of butchers and blood-crazed worms, Burak prowls all around the town. Yeah, they play him off as such it's, it's such a bastard <laughs> path one he's more kind of he's more kind of like tolerated not beloved but tolerated in path two they like eased up on how awful barack is barack prowls around the town they may discover the bachelor they may discover the bachelor any moment now and the servants that i've entrusted with helping him may not be enough to rebut the attack daniel is somewhere in the backbone district near the town hall Backbone District near the Town Hall. Town Hall. So, Backbone District. Wasn't there a house around here that we found uh, the fake Simon's body in? I believe so. But it's not going to be highlighted. But it's burned out. I don't know whether it's, like, next to Laura's? Or literally right next to Town Hall. I'm unsure. So, we'll have to check some houses in order to find him. I'm more interested in handing over the Changeling to... Or the, yeah, the changeling to Artemy, though. So here, let's read and see where we can find uh, Artemis at. Th that was the sentence. <laughs> this is to inform you that the conflict between Artemy Barak and Bachelor Denkowski has escalated out of proportion. It is though they have made a decision to challenge each other. The situation is fraught with negative consequences. Blood will be spilled. The Bachelor knows no remorse. He's preparing, preparing for an offensive maneuvering somewhere in the backbone district okay yeah we know that part the rospex is working somewhere in the skinner's district right now oh that's where we are as far as i can see from the latest reports he's likely to be found in one of the double houses you must you must reach him in time to warn him so that he's able to relocate at once okay so we know that aglaya is using danielle but also using artemy so she's trying to keep things copacetic between both parties I will reward you handsomely for that. The locked down districts are dangerous and there's robbers and looters on the loose. However, I am confident that no bandit survived in the house Barack has chosen. Okay. Besides, there is a cohort of kin people at his side now. The bachelor has his own posse. However, you must hurry. Okay, so it's in a burnt. Yeah, yeah, we're in the burnout district. Oh, is it the double house right here? 
It could be this one. Or it could be the one right next to. That would be fantastic. Let's check it out. Nope. Not that house. <laughs> this is definitely not that house. This is the connecting one, though. Hmm. How about this one? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit, that was easy. No! Uh, uh, uh. It's not that. It is that house. But we're not. We have to fight while we're in there. <gasps> well, God, I hate to do it. I love the worms. I love the butchers. Oh, maybe I can not be. Maybe I could stealth through. <laughs> Let's try that. All right. Nice and quiet. Upstairs? Sneaky. Artemis? Artemis Maximus? He's got to be in here. <gasps> there he is! Safe. No! Artemis, save me! <laughs> Please, they're coming for me. I think they're coming for me. Okay, Artemy, hey, can you turn around? Thank you. So, Bodo's children are not an obstacle for you. Well, they kind of are, but you're my meat shield right now. Well then, it's one or the other. Either you've come to me with kind intentions, or you are my death. I would have stabbed you in the back if that were the case, my friend. If it's the latter, you won't get to me as quickly as you got to them. But if it's the former, do not harbor hard feelings, for they do not know what they are doing. I wanted to warn you, Barack, that the bachelor is after you. He'll find you soon. And who knows what happens to you then? Who would... Dude, Artemy would kick Danny's ass. <laughs> Ain't no way, man. I mean, Danny can be tough. You know? But... No. I'm sorry. No. Artemy just... And then Ruben would kill them all. <laughs> just the way it is. And then the foreman would just destroy everybody else. So... Just the way it is. It's just facts. I do know who you're hunting. Why are you staring at me like that? It's not me you're looking for, but my sister. Have you heard of my sister? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's our quest. We'll deal with the Danny thing in a minute then. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we'll start with that. Well, then. I'm unlikely to make you knuckle under. I don't know what that means. Knuckle under? Oh, knuckle under. To submit to someone else's authority. I have never heard that phrase before. And I will probably never use it. But that's okay. It's nice to know. I learn all th types of things when I play Pathologic. I promise to give you something special for her. All right. Yeah, fine, Barack. That's a good deal. Are we sure we want to do this, though? Or give her up to, to Danielle? I don't know. Nah, I say Barack. Yeah, yeah. That's a good deal. Now, look. I'll draw a map for you. Oh. Wow, that was a big reputation. Hit. <laughs> oh, no. I wonder if we still get the reward for... I'm tired. I wonder if we still get a reward from Aglaia then? I'm not sure. I don't know how I'm going to get out of here either. What? I wanted to warn you, Barack. The bachelor is after you. He'll find you soon. And who knows what will happen to you then? Huh. Well, he won't be able to deal with me on his own. But you've offed my companions, you deadly girl. I didn't. They're still alive. Actually, I don't even know how I'm going to get out of here, man. <laughs> is he surrounded by henchmen as usual? Uh, he's just a horrible bloodsucker as you are. No, we'll be nice. He is, Rospex. But they can't strike you. So why would you need them if not kill them? And why would you warn me? You know full well that there aren't many reasons for me to trust you. I'm just warning you so that you have more. It's high time you realize not only evil walks this earth. I mean, Aglaia asked me, Barak. She's kind of worried about you. Oh, I see. All right, go away, Barak. The sooner the better. Remember, I bring good tidings of joy. Hey, we got a little bit of reputation back. Oh, no. I can't get out of here. Okay, here, let's try. Oh, God. Are they stuck? I could run out of here. Yeah, they are stuck on walls. Oh, the stairs. Okay. No! Ow! Fuck! Here, can I jump over him? Oh! Yeah, I'm on your head, bitch! I'm on your head! Here, jump backwards. Jump backwards. Jump backwards. Yeah, yeah, he... Oh, wait. He can't punch me. Can I hit him? Yeah, yeah. 
exploitation. <gasps> My health. I almost... I almost died. <laughs> no. Should I take a diamiacin? No, no, we're fine. I should eat something, though. I wish food... I haven't played in a week. I forget the buttons. I wish food would heal you as well. That's okay. Dude, we got so much slabs of meat. That's enough. That's good for now. Alright, well, uh... We need to find Danny's place next, and then we'll go to Aglaya. Yeah, I think that's that's a good plan. So, let's get over to... Here, let's start a town hall, I suppose. His whereabouts are not as specific as it was for Barak. I think this might be a little bit more tough. So, we'll start at town hall, and then we'll go from there. Alright, Zoomy's over there. Oh my god. He gave me some... Yeah, I knew it. I thought I heard an item drop. He totally gave me something. What am I full on? It wasn't clothes. Oh, it was a drug. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was just about to leave, and I was like, wait a minute. Should I just, like, repair the rest of my health? Yeah, let's just do it. We'll be without bandages, but I want to know what this is. What is it? What? Oh, it's a fucking panacea? Organic serum based on the antibodies that Artem Barak managed to procure from some mysterious source. Completely eradicates the plague. So we have seven cures now. I need to drop some stuff off back at the Sabarovs. Yeah, I'm carrying around too much shit. Yeah, the Twirian extracts, extracts can go. The black vaccine doesn't... Allegedly restores one's immunity over the course of several hours. Yeah. But that doesn't kill the sand plague. Unfortunately. Alright. Well, alright. I'll head back out then. Gotta get back out of here. <laughs> <sighs> okay. I had to run away from a mazel tov thrower. <laughs> but we're at the backbone. I'm not sure exactly where to look. Like the backbone district is just this district right here that's burnt out. So there's not that many houses to check. I suppose I just start going around in a circle. It's, it's going to take a while. Here, I should probably... Yeah, let's... Okay, it's not that house. It's going to be a house without enemies probably, right? I mean, we might get to attacked again too. I'm not sure though. Not by those people though. All right. Well, I guess I'll just go down the line in a circle. <laughs> Try to find them. Yeah. Oh, that's a good sign. All right, here, we're going to... Okay, okay, yeah, this is a good sign, but it's bad at the same time. <laughs> oh, God. All right, what do we have? I wish there was, like, steroids or over shields we could equip with the game. I mean, there's clothing, but all I have is disposable gloves and a cloth. <laughs> that's it. I have no more healing items. Oh, this is going to be rough. Maybe I could just run up there like I did before, or I can sneak. I don't know, man. Okay. Okay. They don't see me yet. He's got to be upstairs. Yeah, I think we can sneak in. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Danny? You in the kitchen, Danny? Yeah, I figured. What do you got? Oh, no. It's because I took stuff. <gasps> I can't get up. I can't get up. Danny, Danny. Shield me. <laughs> Shield me. Okay. This might work. Here, hold on. This is so stupid. Yeah, meat shield. Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay, we got one. There's one guy caught in a wall, too. I feel bad for this. But what else are you supposed to do, you know? I can't hit Danny. It's impossible to hit NPCs. Danny, do not move. Do not. Oh, fuck. Ah! <laughs> that was a bad load, man. Bad save. Bad save. All right, let's get back up there. Okay, I did it this time without standing. We should be good. Okay, Danny. What is there to talk about now? I'm crawling here. I think you should listen to what I have to say. I'm on my knees over here. All right? You're exactly who I'm looking for. The girl of notable peculiarity. What is it in your eyes? Are those tears? Oh, well, today must have been a bad day for one of us. Uh, I wanted to warn you. Go away from here, cold demon. Someone who wants to kill you will come here soon. Yeah, I want to save them both. Stay here. Don't go anywhere. That's what I wanted to tell you. <laughs> no. Aglaya asked us to save them both, basically. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, don't bother. I can't read hearts like you do, but I can read the poignant hatred in your eyes, all right. You would be very happy if someone were here to kill me. The cold demon. Fuh. I wish she whom I needed wouldn't have valued, valued your life so much. I have a special plan for her. Special. So go away, bachelor. All right. We duck down. We duck down. Did he give us something? Like, aside from just reputation? I don't think so. Yeah, wine, wine, Danny, wine, wine, wine. All the time. It's kind of warranted, though. He's got it tough. Pretty tough. No! <laughs> All right, jump. Jump struts. Jump struts. And a soldier! I can't, I can't, I can't. They see me down the stairs, man. Oh, man. <laughs> don't know what to do I don't know what to do I'm stuck okay can I do it like this please oh yes 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 I don't know how I'm gonna get down though I did like glitch my ass oh god all three headshots oh yeah yeah we're fine that was like a hard I had to like smash buttons to get up there okay they're dead god oh, damn it dude all right let's get out of here bye Danny Mwah. oh I forgot to mention how could I forget? Pathologic 3 uh, trailer came out. That's interesting. It was an interesting choice from them. And I think it was the right choice to uh, roll what was to be the DLC for Path 2 just into a new game. Uh, it seems to me like the system and the game feel is going to be a little bit different. It's kind of hard to tell from the trailer, though, but it looks it looks beautiful. Uh, very happy that they went with Danny too, despite uh, the DLC, which I, I haven't played the DLC for Path 2 yet. The Hornet's, or the Marble's Nest? Yes, not the Hornet's Nest, that's different. Um, Wait, Marble Hornets? That's a, that's like an unfiction thing, like analog horror thing or whatever. Uh, The Marble's Nest? <laughs> Marble Hornets, and then Marble's Nest. Okay, I got it, I got it, okay. But yeah, yeah, it looks cool. And we'll definitely be playing through that. Uh, we'll be playing through our after this. We'll be playing through Artemis Path for sure. But those videos are going to look different. Um, those videos are going to be, there'll be 12 videos in the series, maybe 13, depending on how things go. But I want each video to be a day. So each one will be self contained for each day. The editing may be slightly different and they'll be a little bit further between than these ones. I just have a lot of work and then uh, also projects going on so we're doing that oh Goliath yeah, let's go but yeah I'm excited looks fantastic I don't know if they got the same voice actor they had to have yeah people will probably throw a fit most likely I don't know though is it the same voice actor from path two and path one kind of sounds like it have you met a courier on the way no nobody nobody gave me any curry oh curry sounds so good sorry Goli, I'm distracted I'm talking to myself hello who is standing before me this time? I should be able to tell you apart by tiny details. Yeah, it's it's just me. I've seen the foreman, I found the Rospects, and then also I found the bachelor, although his name isn't on here. I did do that, right? I can't exit out right now. So we'll start with the foreman. Seen him and lived. Let me take a look at you. Widen that pupil, look into the light. So, what did you talk about? Oh, all sorts of things. He does have a soul, by the way. Acknowledged Foreman Ayon as being in possession of an immortal soul. Note taken. Very good, my dear. Anything to add to that? Um, not telling you anything I find you abhorrent. Uh, we've been nice to everyone thus far. So, so yeah, except for that one kid that we blew up. <laughs> we also talked about Burak, the Rospex, that demon who certainly has no soul. About Burak, good girl. Stick your tongue out and say, uh, why? So, what? <laughs> that's funny. So what did he tell you about Barak? He said that he was going to kill them. One can hardly wait, right? No, he is kind of afraid of them, it sounds like, to me. Nah, that means he's not as dangerous as I thought. Thank you. You did well. Eh, not at all. All right, dismissed. Come and see me first thing tomorrow morning. All right, we'll see. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. So let's take a look. The entrails. I can see what is happening to the kin. I know what goes on in the earth. It's perfectly clear to me now that the that the fiery demon Horospex 
is sitting atop the abattoir, preparing to swallow it whole and bring the surrounding parts of the town under his rule. If there is any living substance within, I will have to submit to his will. As far as kin stuff is concerned, yeah. Oh, I didn't find the followers for Little Sister. That's why it hasn't completed yet. I have no idea where to look for them. They're not within the same district. They get put into a separate district. But it can only be a clean district. It has to be a clean district. So it could be here or the factory. We've been through here. I've been all over like the spine and the flank. So it's not there. There's not a lot of places to hide in the cathedral ward either. Or it could be here in near the warehouse district. Huh? Kind of have the feeling like it might be over here, but we did that one before. They were in the bone, bone, bone yacht lard. <laughs> bone yard lot. Jesus, man. That was not on purpose. It was not on purpose at all. And then, yeah, I managed to find the Rospex and deliver a timely warning. No matter what Aglaia's intentions are, she's going to pay me a reward. And then same with the bachelor. Yeah, hope it was worth the trouble. I can't turn in a career on the way. I can't turn in both of them though for some reason. Found the Horospecs, and I warned them I warned him like you asked. The part where his beastly bodyguards almost tore me to pieces is bows, too obvious to mention. I won't forget this girl. You've done a good deed. It goes without saying that I'm going to reward you, and from now on trust you a little more, which will in no time reflect the general local attitude towards you. A little I don't need anything. No, no, we're taking it. There was no need. Oh, we got pills and some monies. Cool. We weren't given too much time. There's only me. So that's finished. Barack has slipped away, and Aglaia returned the favor. How do I finish down? Uh, finish the bachelors. I hope the reward will be worth the trouble. Oh no. I mean, it is an other task, so I'm not too worried. I don't know whether I need to talk to him again. Yeah, it is another task. Task. Today's task is complete, so so that's no worry. But Little Sisters is left on the table, so that means if I can't find it, then another district will be infected. And then I don't know what's going to happen with tracking down the Bachelor. Huh. I suppose I can go back and talk to him. All those dudes are dead. Maybe it'll finish on its own? Uh, be a hard save and go over there. See if there's like something still left that I need to do. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, we can talk to him more. It's like the quest never happened. He's just repeating what he said. Um, yes, those are tears that I've been crying. I've been crying a lot lately. See what I have to do to placate the unbearable hatred you harbor? No, today's your bad day, Bachelor. All your henchmen are dead and you're welcome to check. That means, I, I don't know how he couldn't have seen it. <laughs> that means... They were bad people. Is that it? Yes. Uh oh. What is there to talk about? You look up. Is the quest broken? Oh no. This head. Oh is no. I guess it, it's a side quest, so I'm just gonna let it ride. I'm in quest for the day. Oh my God! It's from Maria. <laughs> And, uh, Have you met a career on the way? All right. Well, at least we can complete it. That's good. Almost wasn't able to due to my stupidity, but that's okay. I work with what I have and I don't have a lot. So let's go see Maria. Here speaks a mistress to a mistress and not Mistress Aglaia. And yet I wonder if you have the strength to speak to me candidly and without prejudice. Oh, <gasps> you motherfucker. That is the most venomously dripping comment that she could have said. Ugh. Changeling should smack her for that. And then Maria would proceed to tackle her and pummel her. She's like a foot and a half taller than her. <laughs> Jesus. I warned the bachelor. Tell me, was it you that provided him with such an entourage that we dispatched with great effort? Yeah. What? Did they attack you? Don't act surprised. Impossible. I warned them not to kill anybody but Earthkin. Well, that's kind of where you messed up. <laughs> we are Earthkin. The butchers and the worms enslaved by the wicked Horospex. There's more Earthkin than just butchers and worms, Maria. Well, 
that had been a mistake, Maria. To them, I am Earthkin. Oh, she gave us cash. Cool. We actually have a lot of money right now. Uh, our health's not good. I have no bandages. But... Oh, that will... I'm yeah. Feverish. Theromycin what will kill us. Be? Maria. Jesus. I gotta go outside. I don't want to hear her five voice lines over and over again. Um, I don't know what we can take. If I take this, I'll probably die because our health is slowly reduced. It's nice that we have seven cures, though. That's pretty good. So we need health. And we're not going to need a lot of health for what we're going to do next, which is go to every single clean district and probably visit our adherents. I don't think we have any in this section, but I'm going to have to check out everywhere. I don't think I've ever been to the I know that's the graveyard, but I don't think I've ever been there. So, yeah, we'll just go see our adherents. We could see Anna and check this district. We already cleaned this dis district, though. It was in the large stock yacht <laughs> in the bone steak lot. So then we can also check the theater district. I know I said I mostly checked here, but I guess there's some areas. Yeah, over by Yulia. We can go speak to her, too. All right. Well. Oh, <gasps> I got him. They're right next to Laura's. Oh, Jesus. That's sneaky as shit. That was actually a lot quicker than I thought. Should I still go see the rest of the adherents, though? Our health's okay now, too. This is all we have left to do for today. Yeah, we have plenty of time. I might try to go smatter hunting for the evening and see what see what I can do. Here, quick save. Oh, hello. Boys, gals, non-binary pals. We have been waiting for you, Harbinger. We believe you, as do many others. I'll gather the rest. You've been waiting for the changeling. She is not the one whom you want to serve. Go away from here and never give her her shelter. Here's your miracle. <laughs> yeah, but our broom friend doesn't leave, though. Now I see that it is really you. So, what you're saying is someone will appear under your guise and bring us the plague. Yep. Be firm. Drive her away. Even if she cures someone in front of you. Interesting. So the changeling also has... Clara's power. Hmm. I wonder... She brings the plague, but she also can cure. It's kind of interesting. I didn't really pick that up before. Hmm. Damn. Let's go find a schmouter. Yeah, there was barely any of them. I think I only ran into five. You should see, we've got so many bandages. Dude, I've got, I've got like so many. We'll just trade all 10 needles. I barely use them. Hell yeah. That's awesome. So we're complete. We're good. Thank you. That's fantastic. I couldn't buy this guy's bandage, right? Yeah, that was just a second ago. I don't have any bottles left. That's kind of a problem. I think I've searched all of these. I was just running back and forth from the clean districts. So, uh, I guess that's the night. We're almost completely exhausted. It seems like a perfect time to sleep. Uh, hopefully my exhaustion... We have beans. We've got juicy, juicy coffee beans. So we should be good to get back. I kind of don't want to use them, but it doesn't really matter too much. So we'll just avoid plague districts and yeah, let's go. Let's go home. See mom and dad. Maybe we can talk to him. I don't know. Daddy, I'm home. You have anything for me? They say hitting hard is a good enough start. You're bothering me. I want to be alone. Mm, all right. Yeah, I get that way too. I don't want to be alone though. That's why I'm gonna go hang out with my rats. <laughs> yeah, it's bedtime rat boys. Yeah, we're just gonna snuggle in bed. Nice, nice and peaceful sleep. It will be wonderful. With we'll we'll take a bunch of atrophine <laughs> and morphine. Fuck, let's mix them together with the black vaccine too. I got a rat attack. That's why my immunity sucks so bad. I'm gonna have to take another pill, but that's okay. Before bed. Um, yeah, we'll get a full night's sleep. This one's effective for ten hours. 
Morphine's better than Etrophine, though. And it also lasts 10 hours. But our health is okay. So, I don't know. Yeah, heavy injuries. We don't need that much. Let's just use the Atrophine. And we'll get nice, peaceful sleep. Oh, I forgot the rats. Here, I can't take you all with me. But I'll take that many. <laughs> the other ones are unlucky. They have to sleep in the cupboard. Moisturize. Only once. And then food. Should be good there. Take our Atrophine. Oh, I don't have any more pills. Oh, shit. I don't really want to take that. It says it's very harmful to health, but our health is pretty high. Hey, let's try it. Yeah, that knocked our infection down tremendously. So that's good. And then I think we're good to sleep. Yeah, we'll sleep for the full six hours, but we'll still have to wait a couple hours for the theater to open and then for the next day to happen. But yeah, let's get that beauty rest. All right, rap boys. Sleep's all done. Oh no, I managed to get them all. Oh, that's very nice. All right, let's walk over to the theater. By that time, it should be good to go. Mm-hmm. Should I leave the Schmouters here? Yeah, probably should. And the Panacea. I don't want to carry that shit with me just in case something bad happens. They take your items away sometimes, and I don't trust it. What if they never load in again? But then again, if they're not my person, maybe... I don't know. I'll leave them. It'll be okay. All right. The day is clear. Your timely efforts allowed your supporters to remain unharmed. A new mind performance is being rehearsed. Right on time. What a pleasant stroll. A little rainy, but that's okay. Beautiful. Beautiful evening. Barely anybody on the streets. Alright, what's on tonight? Do you see now how many mysteries the earth holds? The more terrifying the mystery, the deeper it lies. And the fewer wells can reach them. The bowels of the abattoir were turned inside out. There are beasts there. It's filled with roots and dirt. The underground doors open as easily. But you can only go through if there's a grave behind it. Hopefully you catch my drift. There's nothing to lose anyway. The soldiers will be here tomorrow. Let's risk it. You're free to go anywhere. To the right, to the left, upwards, and even downwards a bit. You're welcome to make sure there are no tricks. Who cares? It's all the same in the end. path to the abattoir is open if there's a grave on the other side. Not necessarily Artemis grave, but maybe speaking of the foreman, I can't remember exactly. Yeah, how come I can't remember from path two how the foreman died? He got injured and I can't remember if it was between him and Artemy or if it. Yeah, why can't I remember that? Oh, man. I mean, I'll know again once we play, but yeah, I can't recall. But I wonder if that's what he was speaking of. I mean, he was heavily implying someone's grave. Mark, is it even worth it? Yeah, it's always worth it, just in case. There's yeah. Same, same old, same old. All right. See, see you all later. Knock him dead, Mark. Oh, cutscene.
Alexander Bluck and his soldiers of misfortune have arrived. I want that map. I would totally have like a framed pathologic map on the wall. Oh, that would be so cool. If it was like thick parchment. Mmm. Mmm. All my wallpaper and shit is all pathologic stuff <laughs> ever since ever since I played through two. I just like all of my desktops and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, put path on there. <laughs> all right, so that leaves us with Aglaya to go visit. Uh, we didn't get an evening note. Usually that comes a little bit later, though. So we'll have to see. Yeah, it would be a day eight and it would be a note from our sister. So we'll have to wait on that. But we can at least get started on the next day's events. Mm hmm. All right. Let's go. Oh, uh, yeah. I forgot these little funny guys are here now. Well, they're not so little, but I, lo I love them. <laughs> Their little goggles are so cute. The more I play Path, the more I realize you have to put in a lot of effort in order to understand what's going on and all the characters and everything and their interactions with each other and whatnot. I still don't completely get it. I think I have like a good, okay base of knowledge. We haven't got a lot of curveballs since like things just come out of nowhere and, and change the whole dynamic of the game for a while. That happened a few times uh, during the, the Bachelor's playthrough but not as much in the Changeling playthrough. It wasn't as like, I, I thought there would be more like epiphanies it, during this playthrough. Maybe there will be later on, or maybe I'm just not understanding it correctly. But still, my point being is that it's kind of work. Like it's a little bit of work to, to like, not just listen and understand partially, but also absorb it and, and retain it because there's so much different information coming in. Yeah. It's it's very very satisfying, this whole world that the uh, that Ice Pick Lodge has created for sure. Hi, Glaya. <laughs> You're just silent. This no. okay. <laughs> he hates us already. Yeah, Alexander. He'll raise us to the ground and kick his own grave before going down. Yeah, Alexander is kind of an ass. I agree. What happened to your legs, my dear? How terrible! Where did you get such frightful stains? Uh, it's rats. I've been attacked. I was sleeping with rats. Okay, that sounded weird, but it, they were my buddies, and, I, and they're just comfort animals. But also, I was attacked by many, many rats, and they bite my ankles, and then I kick them, and then they hit a wall and explode. Wait, sorry. <laughs> it was something I thought I saw. It's hard to see properly in this half-light. Yeah, it is a little dark. Of course, you just thought you saw them. What could possibly happen to me? Here's the plan for today. You will go to the canes, oh, super, and find out why this perverted polyhedron is so precious to them. A lot of P alliteration there. I love it. Same pretext. Say that I'm accusing them of starting the epidemic. The it's a work of art evasion is no longer an acceptable answer. To the canes, I'm not going. They hate me. No, we won't complain this time. And why would it be unacceptable for it to be viewed as just... The work of art. How is it not a work of art? If I had a tower like that, it would be precious to me as well. The bachelor is already working on this theory. What? That I don't fully understand the polyhedron either. I mean, I understand like its power source and then like its, its importance to the community, but I don't quite understand like the use case for it. You know, like I know that it's stealing stuff from the earth and it's also feeding off of all the people like psychically in a way but it's also built for children like it steals their it steals their life by giving them immortality they don't age when they're there and it also like kind of feeds off their dreams and they're like collective like a collective play place kind of that kind of takes energy from them but it doesn't take and not return because they don't complain of like you know feeling drained or anything like that so the only one being like super drained, I suppose, is, is just Mother Bodo, like the heart that it's piercing. But I still don't understand like the entire function to it. And then as far as like Simon goes inhabiting it, I know that he's inhabiting parts of the town. Like, like he's kind of dispersed right now and he needs more like the focus that he had. He needs more of a, of a focused area in order to hold him. But I'm still like pretty fuzzy on that. Uh, 
maybe I'll find more clarification when we play through uh, Brox. He doesn't understand it. You will. Even if you won't, you'll still be able to passably communicate it to me. Any more questions? No, no questions. I just need to be myself, right? Well, I'm off. Quiet. Don't be so twitchy. Then find out from them how to get inside of the polyhedron and do. Once you're in there, do whatever you want. In short, it's the usual thing. I'll find out what I want to find out one way or another. All right, will do, but I'm going to ask you a question. A single one. What do you need this for? Or who am I? I'm pretty sure we kind of established who we are. Or just retribution from the earth, but also like a way forward for the earth. Basically like a communication vessel between the earth and then the people that are inhabiting it here. I kind of want to ask both. I really want to ask both of them. We know what she needs it for. She needs to know whether or not to preserve the polyhedron and what the effects of not preserving it and preserving it are going to be. Yeah, who am I? I haven't understood it yet, my dear. Perhaps you will bring me the answer today on the soles of your shoes. Have you ever seen them? They're most curious. Yeah, there was a question we had earlier about the soles of our shoes. Every time you walk away, I look at your feet. It's a very interesting view. You're afraid of me, Aglaya, aren't you? That's why you haven't killed me yet. Afraid that if you do, something will be irretrievably broken, right? Well, no answers there. You're no stranger to the twists of fate. Isn't that true? Well, it's true. I'm deeply miserable in general. <laughs> and if you're interested, if you're at all interested to know. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, that's our main quest for the day. Fantastic. Yeah, all of our main quests are given by Aglaya now. Uh, my path leads me to the opposite side of town. Well, I'm already there, so not really. <laughs> it's clear who the master, who's the master of this domain. Were you to ask me yesterday, I wouldn't hesitate a moment to condemn them all. But now I'm no longer convinced. Elder Gregory will open the passageway to the polyhedron for me. Oh, you get to go see Khan. That's cool. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is the day that I think the Bachelor goes into the Polyhedron as well and talks to Khan. Oh no, Gregory's sick. Ah, oh, shit. Do I heal him? I don't have my schmatters on me. Yeah, I have to heal him with a schmatter in order to do this. Otherwise, I can't do this. Oh, man. Alright, I guess I'm going back home. <gasps> Hi, Dad! <gasps> <laughs> Bye, Dad! <laughs> oh, God, not only do I have to like take care of my adherents, but I have to look under, uh, look after Barack's and Daniel's also. <laughs> Jesus, I've got a box of children's schmouters if it could help. This? It'll cripple him. Yeah, give it to him. He doesn't get the panacea. He's okay now. You can leave. Yeah. Yeah, you can leave. Mm-hmm. All right. Now we can do it. Oh, tomato. I miss tomatoes, man. I don't even, I don't like tomatoes in real life. Heirloom tomatoes are good, but not the slimy ones. How you feeling, buddy? I feel almost nothing. Yeah, <laughs> I bet after that schmouter treatment. Holy shit. Gregory Kane, I've come upon the orders of Inquisitor, Aglaya Lilich. So what is it? Or do you hope to intimidate me by saying the name of my daughter-in-law? Oh, would your attitude change if I told you that my visit will determine the fate of the polyhedron? Do you believe that your visit is that significant? Now, it's you who will answer my questions candidly without prejudice. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> Everybody's using that line on us now. Are you one of Aglaya's confederates? They use words really deliberately. So joint, I mean, confederate basically is like a joined group under, under like terms or a treaty, I think. I don't know. I'd have to look it up again. But I mean, they don't mean it in the US way for sure. But yeah, yeah. Like people bound through a signed or agreed upon agreement. I mean, we are in all honesty. Yes, I doubt it. Um, maybe not. I don't know. Believe it or not, but the timing of your visit is impeccable. For while I've been trying to salvage what little has been left to us by our dearest brother, we've come close to solving the mystery of Simon's transformation. 
So they weren't aware of Simon's transformation before this. I felt like, so the, the fact that souls can occupy buildings or at least carry their information in them is like a happy accident to them. Like it's something that they just stumbled across. It wasn't deliberate. Like, like Peter's, Peter's like architectural design wasn't specifically made that way. He was just inspired and then, and then, you know, brought it forth into the world. And it just happened to have this effect because of how it was powered, I suppose, not just the geometry of the thing, but maybe his intent with it, whatever inspired him to do it, possibly even, I wonder if he got inspired also by the earth. Like it was whispering, oh, that's an interesting thought that Peter would come up with these things, partially because he ingests so much twirling, which is of the earth. So maybe he got some like forbidden knowledge or something. That's kind of a cool thought. I mean, it might be totally wrong, but it's a, it's a like a cool little thought. I don't know. At least I feel that way. Would you be willing to do us a very important favor? Uh, will you answer my question if I do? Yes. And we will let you inside the tower. That is what you've come for, isn't it? All right. Uh, what do you want? We'd like you to go to the cemetery. All right. That's on the other side of town. I was just over there. It's okay. I should have brought the schmatters with me. Yeah, okay. No, that's fine. That's good. I like walking. My soles are wearing thin, though. And find Dr. Ruben. Oh, Ruben? Oh, yeah. I'm fine with that, then. I always love seeing Ruben. He's my favorite. Who is hiding from our wrath there? Tell him that he's been forgiven. Let him come here. Together, perhaps. You could find out what happened to Simon's blood. I don't know what happened to it. I don't understand. Well, I know Ruben needed it for processing the panacea, but Artemis already got the panacea on lock. He used the bull blood for it, like the blood of the earth. The bachelor said that he and the Rospects have been trying to solve uh, the riddle posed by the mysterious blood that appears to be strangely identical to Simon's. Hmm. So Simon's blood and the blood of the earth are kind of the same? Huh. All right. Maybe we are going to learn some new, like, learn new things that'll kind of, like, shatter our view of what, well, shatter my view of what I previously thought to be true. The answer to the riddle is hiding inside the termitary, risking his life every minute. If you go there, we will provide you with medicine, weapons, and protective clothing. Okay. Oh, uh, why? Will I be under attack in the termitary? They wouldn't attack me. They never have before. Well, I mean that one time but what do i have to do with this that's what i want to find out all right i'll go oh what am i going to do with bullets man i don't have the derringer could you give me a derringer maybe the dream there is not what else did he give me he gave me clothing repellent cape light cape synthetic material good repellent protects the torso from accidental contact with infected surfaces okay that's better than the zero durability cloth we were using, I guess. And then we got some bullies. I think, yeah, we'll fix up our, we'll fix up our scalpel on the way there, I suppose. All right. That's pretty weak, Gregory. I expect more from you. All right, let's go. All right. Fixed my stuff and we're here. I don't know exactly where he's going to be though. What block? Ooh, let's check this. I need more bottles. I bought so many bandages. Actually, how many bandages do we have? Five? Yeah, that's not very much. And I'm out of bottles. I need to do more looting. I haven't set enough time out to do that for. Oh, and we can read the quest. But here, let's get inside first. This rain is deafening. At ease, gentlemen. Maybe we've got a letter, too. Hopefully nobody attacks us. Did we get a letter? Nope, no letters yet. That's okay. Gregory never ceases Gregory never ceases to surprise me. How could it be that the people most deserving of being branded as criminals beyond redemption come out as something unexpectedly different these days? Gregory asked me to find Reuben in the termitary. The man must be hiding there to avoid the wrath of the canes. Hmm. So he's gonna be in like a little side area or something. And we and everybody's gonna attack us. Yeah. Maybe? No. Worms are friendly. 
Why did you give us so much stuff then? Huh. Alright. Well, I'll just take a look around a little bit. Hello? Ruben? Oh yeah, the alternate prosecutorium. Uh, I wanted to check here, because this is where we found that worm before. Where This is where Artemy was working previously. On the Panacea, but... Hmm. No Ruben still. Hey, Taya? Have you seen Ruben? My right eye is only half closed when I'm tilted. Okay. Stay tilted, kid. Ah, uh, I don't know where he is. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the second block? I guess he could be in the alternate block. I would have thought the... The little surgery room, though, where Artemy was at before. Oh, where Artemy was at before. No, I've checked there. Hmm. Fourth floor? Nope. No fourth floor. Damn. Let's try the other side. I don't know if I have entrance or not. If we do, that's a good sign. Oh, yeah, there's Danny. Oh, we can ask Danny where he is. This is where we saw Artemy before. Hmm. Danny, have you seen Ruben? I'm tired. I've had enough. I'll have you know that I've been thinking about you a lot. That's kind of nice. Thank you, Danny. I, I appreciate it. There's no need for that, though, Danny. <laughs> Danny, do you know where Ruben is? Ruben is away. He's coming back tomorrow. And now, here's a riddle for you, Clara. <laughs> All right. I didn't come here to answer riddles, but go ahead. On day five, Ruben said that Simon's unique, most singular blood had all been spent to the last drop, gone to some vaccine. Then yesterday, the raw specs made the serum out of blood that was structurally similar to Simon's. Oh, so it is. How could we never... Uh, maybe they talked about this before and I just didn't notice it during uh, Path 2 Artemis playthrough or even uh, Danny's playthrough. It even surpassed it. So that's where Simon got his longevity from, though. So for the Thanatisha... You know, that he was he was investigating. Hmm. And whose blood was it? Only he knows that. But that's not the mystery. On day six and seven, the Rospects brought me the blood that was similar to Simon's. Where was he getting it from? Well, I know where, but where is he, the Rospects? I wish I could talk to them. No, it's just that. Yeah, where? That's what I wanted to ask you about. I've tracked down some of the commoners you had cured. Their cells were mutated, but they but they hadn't become immune. Hmm, that's thrilling news. I don't know what to say. Nothing to be thrilled about. It's odd they didn't just die. <laughs> I don't know. It's nice news. I mean, I'm glad they're still alive. It sucks that they're not immune to the disease, though. Oh, that's all you're going to give me? So where he's not going to be here, then. Hmm. Do I need to find... Pardon me? I guess I can... I talk to the commander about... Repent! I guess I can go to... Uh, yeah, I don't know where Riven is. Um, I guess I can go to... I mean, I could check the Prosectorium. I doubt he's there, though. They said Termitary. But I could check Factory 3 for... Artemy. Woo! It's leg day! Artemy? Yeah, I think that's what Danny was implying, that we need to talk to Artemy. Artemy? Where would he be? He would... Would he be at the turbitary? Where, though? We already checked turbitary block one. So, is there an upstairs to where Danny was at? Maybe it's there? Aside from that, I'd just have to go back to Gregory and say, No dice, man. Ruben's gone. But, oh, alright. Back to the turbitary. <laughs> leg day! Leg day! Ooh! Ah! Pump it! Pump it! Ooh! Ah! Yeah! I'm gonna have no soles in my shoes left. Heck yeah. Oh, there are stairs. Maybe he's up there. I don't know. Danny? What is there to talk about now? Re repent. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Aside from that, I don't know where else to search for him. I'm trying to think of like where he would be on day nine. But uh, he would just be at the dormitory or at his lab, most likely. Or out like running around talking to people. Or digging through garbage or something. I've never been up here before. I don't know if this is going to be pointless. Probably. Like usual. Jesus. Let me know when we get to floor 40. I'm going to puke. 
Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> Found you. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Hey. What? Nothing. I'm past being surprised to see you again at this point. Hey, Barack. Do you know where Ruben got that blood that was similar to Simon's? Do you know who the Bound are? Yeah, I do. I've been fixing your Bound, actually. Well, Danny's Bound, but yeah. Have you... No, I did fix... Uh, I did fix Capella, so... Both of you. Have you by any chance touched a Bound person with your hand lately? Condemned them to death? Or converted them to your wild religion? Those are all touches, too. Think about it carefully. Touched a Bound person with my hand lately? I don't believe so. Even if I didn't touch them, I knew who... Oh, shit. It's the changeling. Even if I didn't touch them myself, I know who might have done that for me. It's highly likely. Well, their blood was similar to Simon's. Aspie. Oh. Oh, shit. Both Aspie and Yulia. So the changeling cured them. I didn't even know they were sick. No doubt about those two. Some others, too. Let me think. Also evil. Yeah, they checked all the... All of their blood... Huh. How is Yulia evil? Hmm. Why is why why evil? You see, Simon's blood bore a weak resemblance to a different blood, as though Simon was the worst in a line of amazing beings I'm talking about. Weird. Okay. Yes, his blood could help, were it not so battle worn. He was, after all, an old man. That's what I think. Yeah. I mean, so yeah, his longevity and everything else. Worst in a line. Worst in the line of amazing beings. Hmm. Who is Simon? Like, wh what is he and where did he come from? I don't think we know that. I wonder if he has some relation to the earth then? Since their blood is so similar to the blood of the bulls. Weird. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. What sort of beings? B uh, yeah, yeah, bulls. Exactly. Atriox. Demigodly creatures. Their blood can fight the disease. And, if the disease is an instrument of supreme retribution, it means that the beings have learned to transcend supreme laws, the supreme laws of this world. Are there many of them? I wish I could tell you more, but For Formenoyon said that one had been, uh, that one had been the last. Simon may have been weak, but the Ar- But the Arox had been strong. We found the source of such blood. We could accomplish a lot. If we found the source of such blood, we can accomplish a lot. Okay. I understand your aspects. So, we, am I going to help in searching for that blood? Uh, Commander. I mean, we got an update for it. Ruben's destiny seems closely intertwined with my own. He will be the one to reveal my fate. He is the one standing between me and the most important character in this mystery. Simon. Yes. I can go back to the Crucible now, even though it's too early to reach a conclusion. Yeah, he didn't, like, Gregory didn't want Ruben for specifically, you know, he didn't want him. He wanted whatever Ruben knew about the blood. So, and we kind of collected as much information as we could about it. Now, at least as much as the boys know at this point. It's good that they're not fighting. I mean, they're not on the same floor, but it looks like you guys kind of squashed whatever beef you guys had going on. It's a good job. Now, kiss and make up. Mwah. All right, so yeah, we're back to the crucible. Leg day, leg day. Hoop, ha, hoop, ha, hoop, ha. Gregory, I have a heartache. I have found a curious thing about myself or things. What kind of things are they? Do tell. Hmm. If you tell me something first, why is the tower so precious to you? Or Simon Kane and I are connected, perhaps even similar. Through me, he'll return to this world. Hmm. I always like asking questions. So, I mean, the polyhedron's precious to them because that's a sign of their future utopia, I suppose. It's like, it's going to be the heart of, of the whole thing. But for whatever plans that Maria has, we'd learn that in the Bachelor's Route. But yeah, yeah, why is, the, why is the tower so precious to you? We need the polyhedron to become flesh for Simon's spirit. Hmm. But a harrowing, yeah, yeah. But a harrowing decision like, and that, that like, Simon's spirit will lead them into the utopia. But the harrowing decision like this will come at a terrible price. We will have to say a final 
a final farewell to Nina, whose spirit resides there at the moment. Yeah, I remember, yeah, Nina inhabiting the, the polyhedron, but he can't hold both of them. So her spirit needs to move on, which is also why she's kind of being rebirthed through Maria, if I'm remembering that correctly. That's impossible. The polyhedron can work mir miracles. It exists in defiance of all laws, imaginable and otherwise. It's a miracle made real, the pinnacle of our legacy, the utopia in the flesh. If it is destroyed, it will be lost for good. Nothing like it will ever be known to history. Why? I don't want to just end the conversation. I'm trying to be careful with my words because we want to be let into the polyhedron. So why? It is capable of capturing miracles. It captures the soul. It captures childhood. It feels like a world of eternal bliss to children who dwell within it. That's why they've set up their own republic there. And now it's your turn to speak. What was the blood that The Bachelor was talking about? Hmm, I don't know if I want to tell him. Will he, keep, will he get pissed if we compare our blood to Simon's? This scares me. I don't understand a thing. These destroyers, the Rospects, and The Bachelor say that I was involved in the creation of that blood. As far as I could understand him, Simon's blood has been shed because of me. Is that what you think too? I think that's probably the route. Yeah. Let's start there. If you and Reuben find the origin of the blood that holds the likeliness to Simon's, then perhaps we may avoid having to banish Nina. It's, it isn't Simon himself that we need, but the power of creation he wields. We live for its sake. Simon is not the polyhedron's purpose. Rather, Simon's purpose was to allow such polyhedrons to spring up in the world. Oh, so yeah, like I said, they need that as a platform to bring forth their future utopia. I'd like to convince myself personally. I'm afraid Nina will show you nothing since you're no longer a child. All that may be possible to see are the cold walls and empty flights of stairs. Well, you promised about the polyhedron. Victor will open the path to the polyhedron for you. Okay, good. Only he knows how to earn good favors to his beloved wife. So we could talk to Victor? Okay. He was the only one she'd ever listened to. Oh my, that's a lot to reflect on. Indeed it is. Oh, Victor will clear a passage for me. All right, we'll talk to Victor and then uh, we'll probably leave it there. Leg days got me tired. I wish there was a crouch button in the game. Oh no, there is. I just never use it because it's so small. Yeah. You you just like bend at the knees a little bit. I love like super low crouch buttons. Those are satisfying. Oop. Ha! Hi, Victor. I'm over here. Yes? I hope this torture ends soon. Victor, I'm going to go to the polyhedron with Gregory's permission. Oh, Katarina would speak the same words every time the rat, rat prophet possessed her. Ah, I wonder if that's like a little, a sign kind of nodding at his, is like, I wonder if that's like a sign nodding towards like what's, because Victor seems, Victor is really troubled and he does share a lot with the Sabrox kind of it feels. Yeah. Yeah. He's like that gloomy, gloomy kind of disposition. But yeah, Gregory said I can go to the Polyhedron. Yes, I know, but I'm afraid you're not going to see anything there. I doubt that Nina will be favorably disposed towards you. Oh, well, we'll see. How can I get past the barrier? It's simple. Go all the way to the top. You'll see my son there. If he's not there, wait for him or tell one of the dogheads to call for him. When he retrieves you, you should immediately, without answering any questions, without any greeting or apology, say the following words. Fane's eye. All right. Thank you. Fane's eye. Perfect. Casper Kane, also known as Khan, is ready to let me into the polyhedron. I wonder why they all keep calling it the Tower of Mirrors, the Crystal Tower, the Tower of Glass. Isn't it made of paper? Well, it depends on who's viewing it. What it is truly made of, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe only Peter knows that. He would probably say it's made of nothing and everything all together or something like that. But yeah, we'll leave it there. Next time we tackle the polyhedron. Thank you all so much for watching.
I'm Mo, and this has been Pathologic.